Statistics for research. Statistics can be broadly categorized into two main types, descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. These two categories serve different purposes in the field of data analysis. 1. Descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics involve organizing, summarizing, and presenting data in a way that provides a clear and concise understanding of its essential characteristics. These statistics help researchers and analysts describe and summarize datasets. Common techniques and measures used in descriptive statistics include measures of central tendency, mean, median, mode, measures of dispersion, range, variance, standard deviation, frequency distributions, tables and histograms, measures of position, percentiles, quartiles, measures of shape, skewness and ketosis. Descriptive statistics are primarily concerned with providing an overview of data, simplifying complex datasets, and identifying patterns or outliers. 2. Inferential statistics. Inferential statistics involve drawing conclusions or making inferences about a population based on a sample of data. These statistics allow researchers to generalize findings from a sample to a larger population, test hypotheses, and assess the reliability and validity of results. Common techniques and measures used in inferential statistics include hypothesis testing, assessing whether observed differences or relationships in the data are statistically significant, confidence intervals, estimating a range of values within which a population parameter is likely to fall, regression analysis, examining relationships between variables and making predictions based on those relationships. Analysis of variance, ANOVA, comparing means across multiple groups to determine if differences are statistically significant. Chi-square tests, evaluating associations or independence between categorical variables. Inferential statistics are used to make informed decisions, draw broader conclusions about populations, and test hypotheses, all while acknowledging the inherent uncertainty introduced by sampling. In addition to these two main categories, there are various specialized branches and techniques within statistics, including but not limited to. 3. Biostatistics. Focuses on the analysis of biological and health-related data, including clinical trials and epidemiological studies. 4. Econometrics. Applies statistical methods to economic data and models, allowing economists to analyze economic relationships and make predictions. 5. Multivariate statistics. Deals with the analysis of data with multiple variables, addressing complexities such as correlations and interactions among variables. 6. Bayesian statistics. Uses Bayesian probability theory to update beliefs and make inferences based on prior information and observed data. 7. Non-parametric statistics. Involves statistical methods that don't rely on specific assumptions about the underlying data distribution. 8. Time series analysis. Focuses on data collected at different points in time, often used in fields like finance and economics. 9. Spatial statistics. Analyzes data with a spatial component, addressing patterns and relationships in geographical data. 10. Statistical modeling involves developing mathematical models to describe relationships in data using tools like linear and logistic regression. The choice of statistical method or technique depends on the research question, data type, and the specific goals of the analysis. Researchers and analysts select the most appropriate statistical tools based on the nature of their study and the information they seek to extract from the data. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share.